We're here with international phenom Baba Miller, who just committed to Florida State. Big time commitment in the class of 2022. Baba, the main question that everybody wants to know, why Florida State? What came behind your decision to choose the Seminoles? Honestly, before going on the visits to Florida State and Gonzaga, I wasn't very sure which one I would pick. But once I went there, uh, I went first to FSU. And as soon as I got there, I felt like a great vibe coming from the team, coaches and everything, like great relationships. And then obviously the style of play. Like, I think I fit like a glove, the style of play. I think I can help the team be better. So that's basically the the two most important parts of my decision. What are your thoughts on the coaching staff there and the family atmosphere that they built there? Uh, I like, I love the coaching staff. I love, like, the the way they think, especially because, I don't know, it's like a different type of style of play than the usual basketball played here in, in Europe. Here it's maybe more structured. Like, you got the point guard, the small forward, power forward, everything. Here it's more anyone can bring up the ball. You can showcase your skills. So there's a little bit more freedom. How did you cut it down to Gonzaga and Florida State even before coming to the U.S.? Did you like? Did you already know about Florida State? Were you looking at them before? Uh, yeah, they they called me uh, a few times. Like the universities used to hit me up, and from there I used to like keep contact with a few. And then like coming up to the end of the season, I tried to cut off like the universities that I didn't think I was like a good fit for them. So at the end, it just came to Gonzaga and Florida State basically because of the style of play. Did you always know that you wanted to play college basketball or? No, like I've always had it in my mind, like an option. But I was never like sure because I also consider staying in, in Europe. But at the end of the season, seeing like coming to the visits and everything like made it a lot more clear for me that I wanted to go to to the U.S. and develop and, and get more minutes. So, because I think that I'm also like I'm obviously very thankful for, to like Real Madrid. They like helped me get here. They're a great club, one of the best in Europe. But I think that this was the best move for me. So. Is it true that you signed with Real Madrid at 12 years old? What was that like? No, like uh, normally local uh, players, like from Spain, maybe like Madrid, uh, we don't sign anything. Like we just play for them. We don't like sign no contracts, anything. That's normally the the players that come from different countries. So, so you- yeah, I started in Madrid at 12 years old. Were you just practicing with the coaches at 12? No, no, no. Like, we played, like, the the league in Madrid and everything. It's just that you don't sign. Like, you don't get paid. You don't sign. You don't sign anything. Did you ever sign a contract later on? No, never. Never. Because I always had the the option of coming here uh, on my mind. So, I've always been careful with that. So, what's the main reason to come over here? Is it just player development? Is it just getting ready for the NBA? I mean, honestly, uh, I've always, like, liked the the... The basketball in the U.S., like the the atmosphere, basketball is a very big thing here. And like it's always been something that's been in my head, despite I didn't know like what I wanted to do. But then like coming up to these like past years, like not knowing what to do. And then coming up to these months, I've realized like that I think that it's the best move for me because of development. Because I think that they do like very good sh- a very good job outside of the court, like in the weight room, like practices, everything. Like they get you ready to play. So that was a big part of my decision. And then I also love the atmosphere, like in college basketball. I love like the the way the fans are hyped always. Like everybody's cheering, you know, everybody's like looking at basketball. So is the ultimate goal the NBA while you're in the U.S.? Like right now, I'm concentrated in in the team 100%. I just want to get better and make the team better. And that will come with time. Talking about the team getting better, what were your conversations like with Coach Ham and Coach Steve Smith while you were there? Uh, they were like very good. Like he, um, Coach Hamilton uh, explained to me like how I would play in that system. Uh, he explained to me how I fit. 
and and he did a great job of it because he made me see how I can fit in the in this program. What position do you see yourself playing? How do you see yourself fitting there? Uh, I'm not sure. Probably three or four. I've always been a three, sometimes a four this past year. But like in this system, I, I don't think it really doesn't matter if you're one, two, three or four because everybody plays outside the paint except for the big man. So it doesn't really care. Like it's okay. Have they talked about bringing you off the bench? Have they talked about your minutes at all, or is it just rotation uh, right now? No, like uh, I don't think there's no like special treatment or anything. I'm gonna be just a uh, another player on the on the roster, and I have to like uh, win my minutes. Have you already built a relationship with some of the players there? Were you in contact with them? Uh, when I went there, I I saw the team practice, and then I went to have dinner with them. So, yeah, I got to meet all of the guys. and um, Yeah, they were great dudes. Yeah, I saw you chatting up with, with Naheem McLeod and, and Chandler yeah. Jackson t- talking yeah. smack on, on Instagram. Yeah. yeah, he's cool. So what are you ultimately looking to accomplish at Florida State in 2022, just in this season? Like individually, I want to get better in everything, physically, technically, tactically, and everything. And then team-wise, I want to help the team be better. I want to try to get us uh, as high up as we can, try to get the natty. What do you think you need to improve before getting there? Well, this summer, I'm, I'm going to have to go with the Spanish team, I think, all July. So I won't have much time to actually like prepare, but physically, I'm going to have to gain a few pounds, not too many, but a few, get stronger especially on the legs, then technically uh, polish my stroke uh, on my shot and then get a little bit faster in everything I do. What are your measurements right now, like your weight and height? Uh, I think I'm 6'11", maybe about 6'10", 6'11", uh, weight 200 pounds, 204 pounds. Do you think you fit within this like defensive-minded, really tough team? Because I think it's different from – what they play in over there in Spain. So how does it, how is it different? And how do you think you'll adjust to it? I guess different because like, uh, it's very intense here. Like I've seen uh, like obviously film of uh, Florida State, they press all courts, like very intense. And I think I can fit because with my abilities, like physical ability, abilities, uh, I can change uh, basically one through five uh, so I think that's like a very big advantage for the team to have someone you can play with in defense and change everything. How do you think the game of basketball is different from the U.S. and Spain? Like, what do you think you'll bring from the game that you played over there? And what do you think you have to change up in your game? So I think that in the U.S., like uh, the individual like work, like technically and all of that is like very big here. Everybody's very good, like uh, technically. And physically, especially too, but in Europe, we we learned the game since we were like very young. We know how to play tactically, have a very good basketball IQ, like generally in Europe. So that I think that coming from Europe, it's gonna be uh, an advantage to to have been playing here all my life, like because I I know how to read the game. I think. So that's going to be a, a good advantage. But then physically, it's going to be harder to adapt. Yeah, I've heard a lot of coaches and scouts say that in Europe, they pass a lot more. They play more as a team. The IQ is really high. And over here, it's kind of like a one-man ball. You iso ball. You play what it's individually, and it's a lot physical. Also, I read one of your articles on scouting, and they said that you might be the best prospect over there since Luka Doncic. What are your thoughts on that? What do you? How do you think – it weighs on your shoulders. I mean, Luka Doncic is a once in a lifetime player, I think. Like, he's special. So, those are very big words to say. So, I think he's just unique. Like, you can't compare me to him. He is like crazy good. Do you so, compare yourself to anyone in the NBA? No, like, I can't compare myself to pros because obviously they're at the highest level in the world, basically. But I do try to style my game uh, off Karen Durant. Like I like, I'm long too. I know how to put the ball on the floor, shoot. I also like uh, 
try to copy some moves from Harden, like the step back, all of that, Hezzy. Like, I try to get little pieces from a lot of players to try to uh, help my game be better. So you said you don't want to be compared just yet, but why is everyone so high on Baba Miller? What makes you one of the most intriguing prospects in the class of 2022? Well, I don't think that's a question you have to ask me. Um, I'm not sure. You'd have to ask scouts for that. So it's not any particular part of your game that you go, this is why I'm I'm one of the top prospects and this is why they're still looking at me in the draft boards? I don't know. I think it might be like my physical qualities. I think like the advantage from my game is that I'm very long. So, and also being like a little bit faster than, than people my size is a little bit of an advantage. But, you know, that question is for scouts to respond on me. Yeah, I think you're selling yourself short, man. You're, you're an absolute product there. Yeah. When do you think you'll get to Tallahassee and start practicing with the team? So I'm not going to have much time now because of the Spanish team, I think. So I'll probably go there at the end of August and start training with the team. All right. I appreciate it. And what else do you have for No Nation? Do you have a message for No Nation to end the interview? Well, I'm looking forward to getting there, putting the work. And, you know, I want everybody to be there, cheering out the team, helping us win that title. So go knows. Yeah, that's about it.